The news, uh, good evening. Felicity Passon has made history today, becoming the very first uh, swimmer to swim uh, 15 kilometers from La Gigue to Prale and back. She did so in just over four hours, starting at six in the morning. She took uh, two hours to cover her first leg of her Mind Over Matter challenge. Felicity was being escorted by lifeguards and coast guard boats, people in kayak and also some divers to ensure her safety. The Mind Over Matter Challenge is for charity and all proceeds will go towards a project for mental health. Today was good. <laughs> uh, it was really difficult. It was definitely a challenge, uh, especially on the way there it was okay. But coming back from Prana to La Digue, that first hour and a half was really, really hard. The current was against me. And sorry, so I really had to uh, to fight against the current and stay strong. Uh, but when we started coming back into La Diga, it was okay again. Um, but yeah, definitely a mental challenge. Um, it was, I think, four hours and eight minutes of just looking at the bottom of the sea. But it was good and it was really nice to see all the support from the people when I came in. I was, I was really surprised and really overwhelmed and it today is just not just me I mean I have so many people to thank people who were with me on the kayaks it, it wasn't easy for them either and my whole team just to say thank you and thank you to the people and everyone who sponsored me and donated to the, towards this cause and in another challenge still on Ladig today, this time on land, veteran athlete Joel Melanie undertook a 21-kilometer solo marathon around the island. This solo race was also aimed at collecting funds for four different projects. This was Melanie's first challenge on this inner island. Two people were also joined Joel Melanie in this quest. And President Reval Ramkalawan has sent messages of congratulations to swimmer Felicity Passon and long-distance runner Mr. Joel Melanie for their accomplishments today. In a press release, State House says the president, who personally called Felicity yesterday before the race to wish her strength and courage, spoke to her again today after her amazing performance. President Ramkalawan also congratulated long-distance marathon runner Mr. Joel Melanie upon successfully completing his first 21-kilometer challenge on La Jig also for a good cause. He says the country is immensely proud of their achievements and that both Felicity and Joel have demonstrated that there is no age limit to the good that one can achieve and that through perseverance, hard work and courage, anything is possible. The International School has received a donation of 30 UV lamps from the hotel chain Bliss Group. These lamps, Bactio Tower Lamp Disinfectant or simply Bactio, was, uh, were especially designed last year by three friends in Lithuania to help with hygiene programs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Once placed in a room, the light can disinfect the air and surface surfaces. The Bliss Group uses the same equipment in their hotels and they made the donation to facilitate the cleaning and disinfection program at the International School. So this will be a big, big help for disinfecting because we have children coming into the classes, especially the ICT lab, if you see. All the students come, they'll, use, they'll be using the keyboard, the mouse. So all these equipments, when they're used, and then when they're reused by another set of students. So this is going to be a very big help for us so that we can use these UV lamps between even two lessons. So we are sure that, yes, all our equipments are disinfected for our students, for the next set of students to be used. 
The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to An Animals, the SSPCA, has restarted its program to sterilize animals after a pause due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Jimmy Marie, an officer responsible for the welfare of animals at the SSPCA, says now that most restrictions have been lifted, the Society will resume its services in the different districts where members of the public can now bring their dogs and cats to be sterilized. This morning, the SSPCA was at Providence to sterilize some animals. Last year, we had to put a complete full stop to everything based on the epidemic that we had in the country at large. So we had to follow the regulation of the laws of the Ministry of Health. Uh, right now, we are starting to get loose a little bit uh, so we can uh, restart the program and uh, today is the first program. We, we, we should continue, we will have a continuation of the civilization campaign again throughout the year. Uh, the year. And uh, SSPCA is uh, resuming its program within the district to make it closer to the community because we know uh, uh, in a regional program, uh, program, it's a bit far for certain people because there's a cost of transport and everything. So we want to reach out to the community and come closer to them so that we can actually make this program uh, sustainable and really make it worthwhile. And with this, we come to the end of this news summary. Thanks for watching.